In this video we are talking about vampire crabs and these are some interesting facts and questions you should know. What are vampire crabs and how did they get their name? Geosasarma genus or vampire crab are small freshwater or terrestrial crabs primarily found in the intertidal zones of Java and Sumatra, Indonesia. What sets them apart and lends them their intriguing name is their striking appearance. Vampire crabs feature vibrant, often blood-red coloration on their carapace, resembling the eerie image of a vampire's cloak. Their distinctive appearance, characterized by elongated eye stalks, gives them an almost otherworldly quality. Despite their spooky moniker, vampire crabs are quite harmless and are not bloodsuckers by any means. They primarily feed on detritus, small invertebrates, and plant matter, thriving in humid, forested areas near freshwater streams. Beyond their captivating aesthetics, these crabs play a vital role in the ecosystem, as their presence can indicate the health of their habitats. Studying these unique creatures provides valuable insights into the evolution and adaptation of terrestrial crustaceans, making them a fascinating subject of scientific research and an appealing addition to the aquarium hobbyist's collection. They typically have a carapace width ranging from around 1.5 to 2 inches, 3.8 to 5 centimeters, at full maturity. The size can vary somewhat among different species and individuals. What do vampire crabs eat? What about calcium? Vampire crabs have a diverse and omnivorous diet that consists of various food sources found in their natural habitat. They primarily feed on a combination of plant matter, small invertebrates, and detritus. Their diet includes fallen leaves, algae, tiny insects, aquatic larvae, and decaying organic material. This varied diet helps them obtain essential nutrients and maintain their health. Calcium is a crucial element in the diet of vampire crabs as it plays a vital role in their molting process and the formation of their exoskeletons. A calcium-rich diet is particularly important during molting as the crabs need to synthesize a new, larger exoskeleton to accommodate their growing bodies. In captivity, vampire crab owners often supplement their diet with calcium-rich foods like crushed eggshells, cuttlebone, or specialized calcium supplements to ensure the crabs receive an adequate supply of this mineral. Providing the right balance of calcium and other nutrients is essential for the overall health and well-being of vampire crabs, both in their natural habitat and in captivity. What's the ideal habitat for vampire crabs? Designing the ideal habitat, known as a paludarium, for vampire crabs is a captivating endeavor that combines the terrestrial and aquatic aspects of their natural habitat in Indonesia. Maintaining the appropriate temperature, typically between 72, 82 degree Fahrenheit or 22 to 28 degree Celsius, is crucial for these crabs' comfort and metabolic health. In terms of size, a spacious paludarium with a significant land-to-water ratio is preferable to allow for ample climbing and exploration opportunities. Adequate lighting should replicate a natural day-night cycle and provide a dim, moonlit ambience during the night to cater to the crab's nocturnal behavior. Misting the environment regularly is essential to maintain a high humidity level of around 70 to 80 percent, vital for vampire crabs' well-being. The paludarium, with its intricate blend of terrestrial and aquatic elements, offers enthusiasts a captivating and educational insight into creating a harmonious habitat for these fascinating land-dwelling crustaceans. Including isopods and springtails in the habitat can help establish a natural cleaning crew that assists in waste decomposition and enhances the overall ecosystem within the paludarium. Are vampire crabs social and aggressive? Vampire crabs, while generally social in nature, can exhibit varying degrees of aggression depending on their individual personalities and the specific dynamics within their group. In their native habitats of Indonesia, these land-dwelling crabs are often found in small colonies. While they may tolerate the presence of other crabs and even engage in social interactions like grooming and mating, occasional skirmishes over territory or resources can occur. It's crucial for enthusiasts to monitor their crab group closely, as some individuals might display more territorial or aggressive behavior than others. 
Providing ample hiding spots and visual barriers in the habitat can help reduce confrontations, allowing for a more harmonious coexistence among vampire crabs. Understanding the social dynamics and unique personalities within a group of vampire crabs is an intriguing aspect of keeping them as pets and contributes to a more enriching and educational experience for enthusiasts. How do vampire crabs reproduce? Vampire crabs reproduce through a fascinating process that involves both land and water aspects. These crabs lay their eggs in a chamber above the waterline, typically within a burrow or a concealed location. After mating, the female carries fertilized eggs under her abdomen for several weeks. When the eggs are ready to hatch, she makes a trip to the water, where she releases them into a safe aquatic environment. Female vampire crabs give birth to miniature, fully formed replicas of adult crabs. These newborns, measuring a mere 1-2 millimeters in length, are incapable of surviving on their own and stay close to their mother, typically sheltering under her abdomen for several weeks. Unfortunately, cannibalism can become a concern when the mother's brood care behavior ends. To safeguard their survival, it's recommended to separate the mother from the baby crabs, as doing so increases the chances of more offspring reaching adulthood. Male vampire crabs tend to be slightly larger than their female counterparts, and their claws are notably lighter in color. The most conspicuous difference between the two sexes lies beneath the crab. When you inspect the underside, you'll find that female vampire crabs have a wider rounded abdominal flap while males exhibit a more pointed and narrower flap. This distinction serves as a reliable indicator for distinguishing between the two genders. And claws in females are much smaller. What's vampire crab lifespan? Vampire crabs have a relatively short lifespan, typically ranging from two to three years in captivity. Several factors influence their longevity, including diet, habitat conditions, and genetics. Proper care, such as maintaining the ideal habitat conditions, providing a balanced diet rich in essential nutrients, and ensuring a stress-free environment can help maximize their lifespan. Understanding the relatively brief but captivating life cycle of vampire crabs underscores the importance of responsible care. Yes, vampire crabs are known for their ability to change color, and this phenomenon is particularly evident in males. Their vibrant and striking coloration can vary based on several factors, including mood, environmental conditions, and social interactions. When males are excited or displaying courtship behavior, they often exhibit more intense and vibrant colors to attract potential mates. Conversely, when they feel threatened or stressed, their colors may become subdued or even darken as a protective response. How do I recognize and support molting? During molting, these land-dwelling crabs shed their old exoskeleton to make way for a new one. The entire process involves several stages, beginning with the crab softening its old shell by absorbing water. Then it breaks open the exoskeleton and emerges from it, leaving behind an empty shell. In this vulnerable state, the crab's new exoskeleton gradually hardens over a period of days to weeks, during which the crab often hides and refrains from eating. Molting is crucial for their growth and adaptation to changing conditions, ensuring their continued health and well-being. To support this critical phase, maintain a humid environment as moisture is vital for successful molt. Provide a substrate deep enough for burrowing and hiding, as crabs often molt in secluded areas. Offer calcium-rich foods like crushed eggshells or cuttlebone before and after molting to aid in exoskeleton hardening. After molting, your crab will appear soft and pale. Avoid handling or disturbing them during this vulnerable time. Ensuring a stress-free environment and monitoring for successful molts is crucial for your vampire crab's health, as molting allows them to grow and thrive in captivity. Geosisarma hagen, commonly known as the hagen vampire crab, is typically yellow to orange in coloration, and they do not typically turn red after molting. How do I recognize and support molting? Vampire crabs' propensity to hide is entirely normal, and rooted in their natural behavior and habitat. These crabs are native to the forest floors of Indonesia, where they seek shelter in leaf litter, burrows and crevices to avoid predators and maintain the high humidity essential for their survival. In captivity, vampire crabs continue to exhibit this instinctual behavior, 
often retreating to hide during daylight hours, providing ample hiding spots in their habitat, such as driftwood, rocks or plants, is crucial as it mimics their natural environment and reduces stress. So their inclination to hide should not be a cause for concern, but rather an indication of their adaptation to their original habitat and the need for security and comfort. Where can I get vampire crabs as pets? Securing vampire crabs as pets locally from a reputable pet store is undoubtedly the best approach. While international shipping can be challenging for vampire crabs due to their sensitivity to extended transit times and environmental fluctuations, obtaining them from a nearby pet store ensures that you are adopting healthier and more acclimated specimens. When purchasing locally, you have the opportunity to personally inspect the crab's condition, their habitat, and seek advice from knowledgeable staff regarding their care. This approach minimizes the stress on the crabs, supports responsible sourcing, and enhances the overall experience of caring for these intriguing crustaceans. How do they breathe? Vampire crabs employ a unique adaptation to breathe in their dual terrestrial and aquatic environments. They have specialized gills, known as branchial chambers, which are located inside their carapace. These gills allow them to extract oxygen from both air and water. When they are in their burrows or on land, they primarily respire through the atmosphere, absorbing oxygen through their moistened gills. In contrast, when submerged in water or during brief visits to aquatic areas, they can extract oxygen dissolved in the water. This remarkable ability to breathe both in the air and underwater enables vampire crabs to thrive in their habitat, making them captivating subjects for the study of crustacean adaptations to varying environmental conditions. Are there different species of vampire crabs? Yes, there are several recognized species of vampire crabs within the Geosisarma genus, each with its distinct characteristics and coloration patterns. Some of the most well-known species include Geosisarma dennerli, Geosisarma hagen, and Geosisarma bicolor. These species often exhibit variations in color, size, and habitat preferences. Enthusiasts and researchers continue to explore and discover new species, further enriching our understanding of these fascinating land-dwelling crabs. Proper identification is essential for responsible pet ownership, as the specific needs and behaviors of different vampire crab species can vary.